Okay, so today we're checking out Unleash the Archers. This is Awakening. gotta say that boo -doo, boo -doo. This reminds me of uh the intro from <laughs> from uh Def leopard love bites <laughs> i know this is not going to be like that from what i've heard about this band and i don't know this band never heard them you guys have told me highly that i'm going to love this so i'm expecting it to not be Def leopard love bites i just it's just interesting just sharing what i hear that boo -doo -doo, that just reminds me of that part <laughs> I have. Again, again. You're probably like, why wasn't he rocking out in the beginning? Because I was just letting it be. This is pretty typical metal, so this is not. That there's something. There's just something to pay attention. First of all, if you watch some of my other videos, you know that I am a big fan of the high soprano type. <laughs> I mean, I can't even come close to doing it, but that big holdout. I love that. Um, ridiculously talented. Completely amazing. Great riffs. Um, a lot of movement on them. Um, not predictable per se, but um, I like that they kind of give me what they give me, and then I expect it again, and they deliver, and I expect it again, and they deliver. There's just something to be said about a hi hat, though, especially if you're at a live show. If you're at a live show and they bust you up with some da 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 da, and then you get to that break, you know when that hi hat hits, it's pretty much like a warning. It's like, all right, girls, all right, boys, if you're in the pit, and you maybe shouldn't be there. You got four counts to get the hell out because <laughs> it's about to blow up. <laughs> the thunder. Better get the hell out if you aren't ready. Hell yes! <laughs> Classic thrash riffs.
Well then. Fantastic vocal layers, harmonies. I don't know how many people are on the harmonies, but production and engineering team in the studio mastering all the, that, those people. If you ever see any of these videos and you're part of the production engineering recording crew and you're like, man, I am the guy who gives you guys love because there is a whole lot of talent happening here with this band. But from a musical perspective, the final product that we're getting to hear is is, is also highly responsive to the people who engineered it, produced it, recorded it. Uh, this is just a fantastically well done product. Um, I don't have tons of intricate things to say about it because there's so much going on all at the same time. It's just a driving metal song. I know I can Wikipedia, but you guys are the fans. You guys asked me to come here and check this stuff out. So, is this power metal? Where are they from? Is this a... Uh, I have no, no idea about this band. So, where are they from? Who are they? How long have they been? Um, share the fan stories with me. What's been your favorite concert? All that other stuff. That's how I learn about new bands like this. I would be absolutely destroyed and shocked if I don't continue listening to more Unleash the Archers. So, go ahead and tell me everything and all that stuff in the comments because... Um, yeah, there will be more of this band, I can tell you that. Uh, geez, I don't even remember why I stopped it to talk. Uh, <laughs> I think the, the chorus that she just went into was kind of unexpected for me, considering where the song was going. This is just classic. This kind this feels like power meets thrash metal. Maybe I'm wrong, you guys tell me, but this is awesome. See, this, this chorus she just broke into feels really big and power metally. Um, you don't get that from a lot of uh, Western American bands nowadays, so I'm assuming they're not from the United States, but I may be wrong. I, again, I know nothing about this band. No headstock on the bass, pretty cool. get up there <laughs> um i don't know the the other fella that was singing there but he he definitely was mixed and, and added well what a nice low end he added to that um god what is sticking out the most of this this is well first we got a headstockless bass in case you're wondering what i'm pointing at here look at the top of his bass most guitars typical standard guitars and basses have what is called a headstock up there um, and that's where your tuning pegs are and your strings typically attached to. I don't know anything about that system other than it exists. Uh, cool. He is just, the bass player is just absolutely destroying this song. Um, as the, as the song has gone on, I've lost him in the mix a little bit. Um, he was just extremely powerful in the mix, but watching what he's doing with his fingers and I want to hear it just a little bit more because it's, I can't exactly tell what he's doing as I'm not a bass player that typically plays with fingers, but, um, I'm super impressed with the vocals. Um, and I'm normally not a vocals first guy, but then again, you also gave me a, a classic metal sound, so it's real easy for me to hear that. Yep, I can almost not predict, but I I can tell by the feel where the song's going. I love that. It's actually given me a chance to kind of hear her, but my God, just powerful, regular classic metal meets power metal with big ballady, juicy choruses. Good God, this is. This is great. I want to see that scream at the end again, though. Um, also, check this part. Um, I'm not a drummer. I have played a little bit of drums, but I'm not a drummer. Um, when he hits his right foot here, um, watch how he's hitting it double. Um, I would. I just. I just always assumed as a you know as a non-educated guitar player that doesn't play drums, I would naturally think that I would alternate my feet to make those double hits. But it's probably not quicker. Uh, it's probably just easier to do it this way but that's just where my my uh, non-drummer mind goes to but check out his right foot specifically <laughs> Dr 
drummers, you see what's happening there. Like, I can't even tell how many... I can't tell how many beats are actually moving on each one of those swing arms on the feet. Um, help me out. little key change in there um, during that solo that is I don't know what's typical and what's not but for me from what you would expect I felt like there was a little bit of a key change in that solo um, I'll point it out that it's just it's just interesting it's not it's not a standard typical change that I would expect it to go in that direction and it didn't go in a weird place it just um, it was different which made the solo that much better and more interesting to me uh, I, and of course I have to go celebrate this fellow right here who is just absolutely doing his part on the vocal side to put some low end guts on this thing. Let's get it. Great camera work. Hell yeah. Love the little little bass fill right there at the end. That was that was awesome. Bass players out there. Please help me uh, gain an understanding as to how he... Maybe it's just because he's so far high on the bass. Maybe that's just... I, I never... 
play it down there, um, but um, it just sounded like he was able to pull a unique tone out of that little run. <laughs> Making the face. <laughs> Good God, Swiss picks. I need to check that out. Maybe that's them. Um, I did notice the one of the guitar players had kind of a unique pick. Um, it looked like it almost had like a bend in it around the the thumb plate. I don't know if he just has bent the crap out of it or cut something custom into it, but I did notice that. Uh, might, I might check that pick. I'm just curious. For those guitar players that know what I'm talking about and already have the answer, feel free to let me know. Unleash the Archers was absolutely badass. Um, I don't have a lot of intricate things to say about that other than they're clearly better than me, so that's why I'm not going to say too much. Um, that, I... I Give me give me a little bit of time. I could probably learn how to play a lot of that rhythm stuff. Um, the lead stuff, I just I couldn't even touch. It's not even... Uh, I sat here and they had the double screen. I could probably just sit there and watch those dudes' fingers just play guitar all day long. We could have just looped that over and over. Vocals stuck out really big on this one to me. Um, great, awesome, big, ballad -y power metal kind of voice that she has well-written song structure it kept me metal all the way through even though it had big juicy choruses i love the big vocal holdouts um nothing like a great hi-hat eight count to let everybody know that they're out about to just get wrecked um just a lot of fun stuff in this for me so there is more unleash the archers in the future i don't know them i don't know any of their songs i don't know who they are i don't know where they're from i don't know their story i don't know what other bands they were in i don't know anything like that other than i loved that that was awesome and there will be more so i'm just an old school classic thrash metalhead always have been always will be uh if you're coming over from another video and you're like damn that was amazing well go check out the rest of my playlists i've got tons of different levels of metal to respond to if you're just kind of starting to become a metalhead. Um, maybe you're just fans of some of the other bands. I don't know. I've got tons of reactions on the playlist, so go check out more of these guys uh, when you get a chance. Uh, phew, for those of you that are uh, recommending this to me and are already in that Unleash the Archers family, this was awesome. Send me more. I once again thank all of you for having me.